we will have a number of vaccine which will get regulatory approval early next year depending on the number of doses each of them can produce what proportion of india do you think will be vaccinated next year what proportion of the indian population do you think will be vaccinated next year that's a tough question i hope that we are able to do a large number i'm sure all the healthcare workers should be and the frontline workers would be vaccinated but then we need to also look at the high risk group it will uh, depend how many vaccines come into the market within the first quarter uh, in terms of regulatory approvals a quick add on uh, we india has deals with two of the companies right i mean we have tripartite deals with uh, astrazeneca and uh, serum institute and novavax yes. and serum institute both of those are being made at serum institute uh, are there plans to strike deals with any more so there are already the, the russian vaccine is also being made at, at dr reddy's laboratory there that is going into uh, also phase 3 trial and uh, we have our own indigenous uh, vaccine being made by zydus cadilla so like i said we will have a number of vaccine which will get regulatory approval early next year depending on the number of doses each of them can produce and what is the efficacy of the vaccine that comes out we may have that many million doses to give to the population so it will sort of uh, depend on a lot of factors but hopefully i think that by the end of next year a significant number of the population would be vaccinated so as to actually uh, see a downward trend or maybe have a good control on the pandemic proportion would you say 30% would you say 40% would you say 25% yeah, it's a it's a it's a difficult guess i hope it's uh, it is 30 to 40% at least but i i would not hazard a guess did you expect such a rapid breakthrough in the vaccine no not at all i think the next year is going to be even more exciting as more and more vaccines start coming into the realm of getting approvals and coming into uh, usage uh, the success of the the two vaccines the pfizer and the moderna vaccine is very very uh, i would say encouraging no one expected such a high Uh, vaccine uh, efficacy and especially in the older age group which is always a challenge because we have this whole issue whether the immune response is not going to be that strong uh, another company is actually already starting phase 3 trials as far as the russian vaccine is concerned and we already have two trials going on phase 3 has started as far as Bio- bharat biotech vaccine is concerned and uh, for as far as the cadella vaccine is concerned so like like i said in the beginning we're going to have a large number of vaccines which may come we may not be first off the block in terms of getting the vaccine but we will have had our all overall uh, let's say cold chain in place and the distribution channels in place we need uh, uh, in uh, by the time the vaccines are available but i see in the f- uh, first quarter of next year we should have vaccines available in india the challenge is going to be to prioritize and to give it to the priority groups in a manner that can reach out not only to the larger cities but to smaller towns and to rural india also so that everyone can get vaccinated you see we we are looking at two basic things one is to save lives and the second is to break the chain of transmission so that the pandemic comes under control to do that the number of people who will need to be vaccinated is going to be significant and that is why the vaccine program has to keep going on and on for a number of months over the next year before we could say that we have really reached a Uh, let's say a, a plateau in terms of being able to break the chain of transmission substantially throughout the country and i would say throughout the globe